All right, crew, how are we feeling today? We are going to hop right into it. We have a fun little prehab warm up, and then we have a body weight workout and minimal equipment workout. Uh, typically, we do a Mayhem Athlete workout, either M30 or a version of Compete or M60. Today, we're just kind of freestyle and just kind of trying to sweat today, but we usually have all sorts of variations of fitness. So we have some fun stuff on the agenda today, but our warm up is always something that we can utilize. I call it longevity warm ups because if we're going to warm up, we might as well do something that makes us feel good for a long time. <laughs> That's the idea, at least. So, our prehab warm up today is going to be a five minute backward walk. We always start with that. Um, that comes from Knees Over Toes Guide Programming. I took his course, which is a really great course, but that is going to help you strengthen the muscles in your shins and your calves and your feet to help you feel good too. Uh, it's also great if you have um, an older relative in your family, walking backwards is always a great option too to help them on their fitness journey. Uh, just don't have them go walk backwards down the road by themselves. Maybe uh, help them out on that. <laughs> um, and after our five minute backward walk, we're going to get into our ATG split squats, similar from the knees over toes guy programming as well. These are my absolute favorite squats. I was having a lot of knee pain from a lot of volume of squatting and things over the years and these squats have helped me so much because they're a great mixture of mobility as well as strength so and balance so it kind of hits all the markers which is really nice then we're going to get into two of my other favorite warm-up movements you guys are familiar with this if you've joined before the handstand hold and if you're not comfortable with handstand holding we'll have you do plank hold and hanging from the bar. If you have any shoulder issues whatsoever, this is another thing I know from experience. Um, I read a book from a doctor who, he was an orthopedic surgeon and specialized in shoulders. And he was saying the number one way to alleviate shoulder pain, because what happens is a lot, there, a lot of impingement happens here. When we have inflammation, this is one of the smallest joints to it's where everything comes together. So it often gets impinged. So by doing the hangs, there's a lot of decompression that happens there, but you will find so much relief from hanging. So we're gonna accumulate a minute from the hang. If that's super overwhelming, you can start with your feet on a box as well, but it's also great for your grip strength among other things. And if you didn't know, your grip strength is an indication you know, a lot of people wear whoops and things like that to let you know how ready you are to perform. But a little secret hack is your nervous system, your grip strength will be an indication of that too. So Shane, how's it going? I love hangs. <laughs> well, I say that it's love hate. <laughs> I hate love them. How are you? How's your week going? How are we feeling this week? How is the, uh, how are the post Thanksgiving fitness and feels going? <laughs> so after you're accumulating one minute handstand hold or plank hold, you'll accumulate a one minute hang from the bar. Or if you don't have a hang, you can, I've shown you guys before, you can drop that head through the window, um, doing a hold from a ledge. You can also, do a downward dog. And last but not least, we have some bottom of the squat holds. You can also do today, guys, if you want to warm up that upper body more, you could do some seated presses as well. We have all the things, you know. Diana, Diana, how have you been? It looks like you've been doing lots of fun things with your family. How's everyone feeling doing? <laughs> Oh, right. I forgot your Thanksgiving back in October. So you're fully recovered. <laughs> Diana, how are you recovering from Thanksgiving? How's your fitness been going? We have a fun one on the agenda today. Um, I'm going to just go through a couple of these movements. Uh, but 
we have some we're going so we're going to do some single arm movement today team so we have some thrusters on the right thrusters on the left uh some wall walks but also there you can sub a pressing movement for that and we have some burpee pull-ups or you can sub some pull-up variations or just burpees for that as well Ooh, circuit training with a group um what season are you in right now shane oh diana that's awesome is it freezing cold there yet it's actually we had a cold front here and it was you know like i mean it's back up to like 70 now but it was uh 40 something this morning <laughs> I mean, in Ngoku Beach, that's cold, <laughs> but it warmed up pretty quick. Ooh, Diana, how are the dead hangs going? How are they feeling? Super cold. Oh my gosh. Shannon, what's the temperature where you, you are? You're in the winter sport months for sure. Training with the crew is so fun too. Diana, how's it going with Corey? She's got a whole team with her. <laughs> On the band account. I don't know how to, un I don't even know how that happened. And I went in there and looked and I couldn't find anything. Erica, how's it going? Thomas, I've been meaning to message you back. I have so many thoughts. All the thoughts. I will. You just reminded me. I have not forgotten. <laughs> I, I, I know exactly what you mean. Aria, how are we feeling? How's the uh, house progress going? Thomas, are you still doing tactical game stuff at the moment? <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, <laughs> whatever you do. <laughs> So Thomas stacks of thoughts. Thomas, are you still uh, off social media for a while too? Which is so good for your brain. Everyone needs a break down then, right? Okay. <laughs> Shane wins the cold weather award. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was 45 this morning. He's like, it was minus three. <laughs> Although Thomas is probably pretty chilly in Utah, right? Oh my gosh, how fun. Diana says they're putting up lights on the Rockefeller Center. I'm going to try to put palm tree lights up later, Diana. I always find it um, adorable when you have uh, the yellow lights on the bottom and the green lights on the top of the palm trees. It's my go-to. <laughs> Twenty. Uh, yeah, Thomas, no, that's pretty cold. Has it been snowing there? Well, to be fair, Shane, it's not 45 anymore. It's like back to like 68. It's, it's nice in the sun, actually. Oh no, it's all right, Aria. There's a perfect plan for it, for sure. That just, you know, you're just getting teed up for something better. We'll still be praying for you though, for sure. I know that process is just, yeah. Buying and selling a home can be overwhelming, for sure. But that just wasn't the right person or the right time. The right one's coming, for sure. <laughs> Charles, I get that. Well, did you hear Shane's over at minus three, so, oof. All right, guys. Well, you guys know the drill on the warm up. Um, Amanda, Amanda, how was all your cooking? Making anything good tonight? I'm going to visit my aunt, so I'm making her some appetizers. <laughs> some crispy prosciutto, some zucchini cakes, and I don't know what else. Absolutely, Aria, for sure. It's all part of the plan. There's a better plan for sure. There's a better person for sure. Oh, it was storm this weekend. Oh my gosh. Thomas, does your family do um, many snow sports? Do you guys get out in, um, I mean, Utah has amazing snowboarding. Oh my gosh. Oh, the cookie place. What are you doing at the cookie place? Oh, fun. <laughs> Amanda, congrats on the impending cookies. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just going to go through this super fast, and then we will talk about the workout. 
It's a 20 minute workout. It's really fun. We'll get right into it. Uh, just owe you guys so much fitness this week. So we'll fitness the rest of this week too. I wanted to touch base today and see what times would be best for you guys the rest of the week. So <laughs> Thomas. Thomas says, yeah, my company makes skis. <laughs> fair enough, Thomas, fair enough. Hopefully they hook you up with all of the free skis. Oh, I got you, Erica. Erica, I'm shocked you're not making with cookies. But then again, it's probably for an event. You guys know the deal on the backward walk. Bring those feet up, back, stepping all the way through the feet. I went over when, when I started the workout and I was patiently waiting for you guys. All the benefits for your feet, ankles, shins, calves of walking backwards. So don't skip your backward walk. Wherever Willie is, maybe he's walking on the treadmill somewhere for us. Uh, start with your five minute backward walk gang. And then we're going to do our 10 ATG split squats on the right and on the left. Uh, after the backward walk, these will be three times through 10 squats on the right, 10 on the left, accumulate a minute in the handstand hold or plank hold and accumulate a minute in that hang from the bar for any cranky shoulders out there. My shoulders been a little cranky guys. I got to get back to my hangs. Diana's, uh, still representing for us on all of the holds. What are we up to Diana? How many times a week are we doing our hangs? And then after you do three times through your squats, your handstand hold and your hang, which is our, you know, old faithful team. It's been a couple of days, so I've got to bring you back to Old Faithful Prehab. Then we will get into your five minute bottom of the squat hold. You can do that just standing there or you can do it with your feet against the wall. We got to send a pajarito for Willie. <laughs> Diana, Diana, did I tell you that um, my mom has this like toucan statue in the kitchen and it says, uh, it's not pajarito, it's like pajaro, I think it's just pajaro. So I was just so tickled <laughs> five times a week. Oh, that's epic. Oh my gosh. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. Those, um, cookie cakes, they're pretty, I mean, you talk about old faithful prehab. Those have been like old faithful birthday go-tos for a gazillion years. Homemade chicken nuggets, put them in honey and crumbs. What kind of crumbs do you put them, put on them, Amanda? As we talk food, we'll, we'll split squat as we talk food. Always. Multitasking. All right, guys. So for your split squats today, you're going to get into a comfortable split stance. We're going to do rear heel elevated split squats. There's different variations. We're going to keep that front foot flat the whole time. And if you have issues keeping this front foot flat, you can elevate it. You can check out Diana's story. She always does the knees over toe guy stuff. She does a great job. Good. Oh, try not to lose your balance. You need to hold on to something you can. And then you're going to think about initiating by driving that knee over the toe and dropping into the bottom of the squat. Again, this is taking a lot of stability and mobility and your strengthening. So it's kind of a triple threat. But if you can start this movement by holding on to something or elevating that foot, that's okay. It's all part of the process. Then we're going to switch legs. Same split stance, rear heel, elevated front foot flat. Drive that knee over that front foot. See how my front foot starts to, heel starts to come up a little bit? That means I should have my foot on a plate or a block. But you're going to get a nice stretch in this position as well, guys. So it's, you guys know it's one of my very favorites. <laughs> Erica, I mean, it's since we're talking about food and health at the same time, I remember back in the cookie cake days, you just, you try to order the one with all of the icing. <laughs> they do what erica that's just they'll appreciate it when they're older right baharo yes <laughs> oh my mom is a cardinal diana that just that is just the sweetest thing diana i got the pencils you sent me out today i'm learning uh some new coloring tricks i'm so excited i'm so thankful for those Thomas, stretching is important. Thomas, what did you do for exercise today? <laughs> Thomas, I've been doing so much yoga, but I, I've decided that I need to incorporate more uh, some of these stretches. Oh, gosh, I've been reading all the science books for you guys. Still working on that. Um, so areas where I need mobility, they never, they just don't do them as much in yoga, at least the places I've been going to, like the frog stretch and things like that. So... I'm just going to have to add it to ours. Are you exercising today, Thomas? Thomas, do this with us. It's going to be fun. 
You can make this one super challenging. All right, guys, for your handstand hold or plank hold, if you're going to do the plank hold today, you guys know the drill. Stack those shoulders over those wrists. I would still want you to think about keeping that core tight, those elbows locked. And if you're kicking up against the wall into the handstand, I want you to think about actively pressing against the ground as you kick up into that handstand. And whenever you guys, I know it's like beating the dead horse here, drum, whatever you want to say. When I say keep your core tight, that just means don't arch your back. That means if someone were to push you in the stomach, you go, Ugh! that's what a tight core is. So I don't want you arching your back there. I want you thinking about that tailbone under, keeping that core nice and tight, keeping that spine nice and straight. That's what I mean when you say core nice and tight. I feel like a lot of times you get cute on these things and everyone's like, I don't actually know what that means. It's like when people are coaching you in the barbell and you say triple extension and people are look at you cross-eyed like, sure. <laughs> really just jump, jump and shrug. <laughs> oh, thanks. I mean, I actually was meaning to order more on the uh, the Mayhem Black Friday sale because they had more wristbands and I wear, you know, two different watches. So, <laughs> and I sweat like a crazy person. So there, it's very functional for me. Oh, well, what are you planning to do then, Thomas? Thomas, I love that you send me your Saturday workouts, by the way. I may be the world's worst um, communicator, but I love workouts. <laughs> and I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> Amanda, well, I have my Whoop on this side and my Apple Watch on this side. You know, too many metrics. I just, I can't help myself, Amanda. But it's important. It's it's helped me a lot. I noticed, um, I told you guys this a while ago, and I swear we'll get into the workout. I I actually, I love reading them. And I do them often too, Thomas. I Don't worry, I'll work on my communication skills. <laughs> um, I was just noticing um, my resting heart rate back in January was starting to go up. And I wasn't changing any of my exercise. So it's why I started supplementing with hot and cold. Because there was definitely some inflammation or something causing it and it's been a game changer for feeling better doing that the sauna and cold each week i've just progressively watched it all go back down it's crazy we can talk about that more some other time you guys on your hangs i want you to think about so there is oh, there's something floating out there team you know squirrels <laughs> there's an active hang and a passive hang we're gonna do more of an active hang today. So I just want you to think about pinching something between those shoulder blades. So you're still getting that grip work. You're still opening up that shoulder. Bird's back here. Oh, she's about to start communicating. Uh, so you'll accumulate one minute in that hang. Shake that hang real quick. And then after that, we're gonna go five minute bottom of squat hold. So you're going to jump up, squeeze each of those shoulder blades. I like those toes a little bit forward in that more hollow body position. And then we're going to go five minute bottom of squat hold. You can do that with those heels elevated, or you can do that against the wall. I like to do it against the wall because it's going to allow you to relax more into that stretch. You can sit there, you can, you can meditate, you can pray, you can read a book. You can go on your TikTok, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, but the bottom of the squat hold again, you can do that standing like so. Just think about keeping that chest nice and tall. That'll make the shins really burn. But what I really like to do is have you guys up against the wall. You guys have heard me talk about this before. Back in the day, Rich used to do this every day. I think he still does. But the bottom of that squat hold. Need to find a wall and drop those heels towards that booty. I know you guys can't really hear me as I walk away because it's windy here. But what I was saying is, you probably need a bigger wall than that. That one's a little small, but you'll drop those heels towards that booty. You'll have that perfect bottom of squat stance for you, and you'll notice as you start to relax more, you can sink into getting your feet in that proper position. One of my favorites. 
Any questions, team? Let's talk about the super fun workout. Thomas, come on, you can just do this at work. Just do the body weight version, it's 20 minutes. Just jump right in with us. <laughs> All right, guys, and then after this, I mean, the burger strength today looks fun. Some tempo front squats, is that right? I love tempo front squats, they're so good for you. You guys can check out Mayhem Athlete, look at the burger strength for today, it's good. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do a 20 minute EMOM or five, five sweats, ha, five sets. So we're gonna get right back into this with the sweaty one team. I just missed you guys so much. I know how much you guys like to sweat. So we don't have to think a ton on this. We just get to get cruising. Someone's getting sawed back there. <laughs> what did you guys get into for fitness today, team? What have you guys done today? So for our workout today, we are going to do a 20 minute EMOM, meaning every minute on the minute, or you can think about this in five sets. No rest minute guys, we're just rocking and rolling, but you'll have the remainder of minute rest on these. There aren't any max minutes, so you can adjust accordingly. We're gonna do some single dumbbell work today, so that's gonna allow us to utilize our core Maybe check out how both sides of the body are feeling in that squat in that shoulder. So minute one is going to be 10 to 15 single dumbbell thrusters on the right. Then we're going to go into minute two of two to five wall walk. If you're Thomas, you just hop to the wall. He could probably do seven in a minute. The old Thomas uh, wall walk tutorial. And minute three, 10 to 15, the single dumbbell thruster on the left. You can go more or less based on what you need for that. And then minute four, we're going to say five to 10 burpee pull-ups. So we get lots of pushing and pulling today. This is like the epitome of a full body workout. A little bit of sneaky gymnastics in there, you know, a little bit of everything. <laughs> Thomas, you're so good at them. I've tried your hopping one and I just, I'm always just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I feel like I'm like a penguin waddle, but I like them because they're also just so great for your shoulder health. You know, you hear me talk about that a lot with the the hangs, it really hits all those little muscles and I always feel so much better after doing wall walks. I mean, relatively, <laughs> aside from it hurting <laughs> in a good way. Um, so let's go through those movements. Body weight is super simple and to the point. I just wanted you guys to have 20 minutes of moving. A lot of movements we do often, just the best ones, you know? And that will be 20 minute EMOM as well or five sets because we have four different movements. Minute one will be 20-ish air squats. You can pick the number based on where you are at. Then you get the remainder of minute rest. Minute two, again, you're going to do the two to five wall walk, or you can do 10 to 20 plank walk, which is just going from that plank position down to those forearms and back up. I just like to switch directions halfway. So if you're not comfortable with wall walks, uh, you can always wall walk halfway. Will used to do that until he got comfortable or you can plank walk. Minute three is going to be 10 to 20 step back lunges. Uh, I mean, you could do 20 total, you could put on the right, 10 on the left, up to you. You can alternate those remainder of the minute rest. And then minute four is going to be eight to 10 burpees. So that will be your body weight option. Minute one air squat, minute two wall walk or plank walk. Minute three, step back lunges, minute four, burpees. That's just like a go-to awesome body weight workout. I would actually like to know if anyone does that one, what you think of it. Pretty standard. I'm sure that's been done many times, but all of, the, all of the good movements in that one. But let's go through this minimal equipment workout. 10 plus, Thomas, are you serious? How about your workout today? I want to see your max wall walks in a minute. Can we have some video confirmation of that? I want to see 10 in a minute, Thomas. I'm like, today, I'm like, I will do three. <laughs> I want to see your frog jump 10. Let's go. Come on. Thomas, that's your challenge today. Sometimes you need to pick intensity over volume, and your challenge is warm up your shoulders and show us how many wall walks you can do in a minute. Anyone else is up for the challenge, too. Go for it. Can We can send the old Thomas tutorial. He And I always think about it, because you only do, what, three steps with your hands back? 
Diana, yay, are you going to do this? <laughs> Thomas, if nothing else today, you could do 10 in the minute. Again, sometimes the intensity piece, I mean, I have to remind myself that. I'm like, you can't, you have to be, <laughs> there has to be intention with the movement. <laughs> and some days you need to do max effort. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know Diana, right? The bar makes the bar hangs make me feel so much better. You guys, I will do the prehab as post tab today, so you know. My shoulder was feeling wonky. I'm like, Diana, come on, don't let me uh only go live once or twice a week over the holidays. The shoulders get wonky if we're not all working out together. <laughs> it gets smaller. Shouldn't it get longer, Diana? I thought that's what you meant. <laughs> that sounds like some Willy Wonka business, Diana. It's opposite. I feel like you should be getting longer. <laughs> All right, guys. So for your thruster, as you seasoned crew know, the thruster is a squat to a push press. And you always hear me harp on speed out of the bottom of that squat. So you can use that momentum through the movement to press that dumbbell overhead. I will show you here in a minute. But what I want you guys to think about, so with that thruster, you can power clean or squat clean the, the, that dumbbell, and it's that squat to the press. But I want you to think about keeping that dumbbell in a straight line every time you press it out overhead, not pressing it away from you on that movement. Because if you press the dumbbell away from you, you're gonna be using those smaller muscles and it's gonna be a lot more stressful on the shoulder. So, you can power clean or squat clean that dumbbell up. And again, it is a squat to a press. You want to think about speed out of the bottom of that movement from the very beginning. And it's normal to feel the opposite side body working to stabilize. So if you're doing this movement and you're feeling that other side of your body, that's normal. But we love that. We like the body. This is, again, why we love the single dumbbell movements. All the pieces to the puzzle strengthening working together and then it can show you maybe you have some a little more weakness in one side or a little strength in one side helps you to show show you what else to work on what we can add to our prehab as well thomas have a wonderful day thanks for coming to hang with us we always love having you let us know how the 10 wall walks in the minute go <laughs> willie you made it diana's pajaritos must have made it to you she sent the ferrets to you <laughs> Wait, Diana, so did we confirm this? You feel shorter after you hang. <laughs> and with weights, I mean, oh my goodness. Willie, how's your afternoon? I have missed you guys so much. It's a fun one, Willie. Five sets today. So we have those 10 to 15 single thrusters on the right. Then we're going to go two to five wall walks. I know it's hard to hear me as I walk away. So I'm going to give you the quick tutorial here on the wall walk. So you're going to start on your belly and then i like to think about pressing up like you're pressing up in a burpee or an up dog then you're going to shoot your hips back like you're going into a down dog at which point you're going to put right foot and left foot on the wall once both feet are on the wall you can start to walk those hands back to the wall once you get those hands fairly close to the wall they're standard if you're doing like crossfit open style stuff you're more than welcome to draw the line and measure out standard and then you're going to walk those hands right back down till your belly's on the ground. That's one wall walk. You can also do plank walks, which I showed, showed you guys. Or you can do half wall walks. Willie, I mentioned you used to tell us about half wall walks. It's a great um, adjustment to do until you get comfortable. Like Willie, you know. And then we're going to go minute number three is going to be that same number of thrusters you did on the right. You're going to try to perform on that minute in the left. So you pick the number guys, 10 to 15. I want you to have at least around 15 seconds rest on these minutes because we have no rest minute. And then minute four, we are going burpee pull up or just regular burpee if you're doing body weight today, gang. Thank you, Willie. Ooh, there it is. Well, clearly we weren't gonna start until you showed up, Willie. <laughs> Diana Noompa Loompa. <laughs> it is, it's so Willy Wonka, it's the opposite. You know, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda thinks stuff. Yeah, I know. Diana's long and lean. She's the opposite of an oompa loompa. 
<laughs> Erica, that sounds so good. <laughs> the old vintage cookie cake. It's just something about it that always tastes exactly the same. <laughs> I thought you meant the cake. <laughs> oh, okay, so gang, are you guys doing this today? Anyone doing this today? It should be fun. Like I said, you can make it as challenging as you want. I want just a solid sweat session to ease you guys back into it. I know you've already been getting after it this week. How have the M30s been this week? They look good. I really liked that um that goblet squat one. All right, guys. So again, we just went through the thruster, uh, the wall walk. I will show you a wall walk, and then I will show you a burpee pull-up. Uh, if you don't have a place to do pull-ups, you can always just do burpees, like everyone's favorite. <laughs> no, what is that, Amanda? Are you talking, is that the thing that makes the ice cream? All right, guys, I'm going to show you a wall walk and a burpee pull-up real quick as we talk about the ninja creams, because it's that, uh, Oh, well, Erica, we'll give you a good uh, reference point. Because I'm super, I see, that's one of those things you should have shocked, right? Gosh. I mean, making ice cream out of fruit and things, um, that's like, I've been on that. All right, guys, so while we'll walking, start with your belly on the ground. You can press up like an up dog or top of burpee. Shoot those hips back like down dog. Then you're going to pull one foot, two feet. Walk those hands back and touch the stomach to the ground. I ended up with a new yoga mat today because I forgot my yoga mat at uh, the house this morning. <laughs> Funny how that works. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh. And then our burpee pull up, guys, or burpee. Burpee, you can jump back or step back. And I like to find a line while I'm doing my burpee pull-ups to bring your feet to the same one every single time. Just makes it easy. The beauty of the burpee pull-up is by definition, you don't uh, necessarily have to go from the dead hang. However, if you want a little bit extra today, I like going from the dead hang. Um, you can, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, team, any questions? Oh, yay, Erica! You guys are awesome. <laughs> That means so much, oh, goodness gracious. Stefan, Stefan, we've missed you, what's good? Still working like crazy? Just all the OGs hanging out today, I love it. Stefan, we have a funny, a uh, funny, it's not funny, it's fun. We have a fun 20 minute emo, let's go. Grab your grips. Oh, thanks Stefan. Oh, I look forward to that, oh my goodness. That's so nice. Yes, we head back Sunday to Tennessee, so rock and roll. All right, team, we're going to get right into this. I'm going to visit my aunt here in a little while, so we must get our fitness in. <laughs> oh, good. Are you feeling better, Stefan? <laughs> Yeah, PTs are great. When you find a good one, you have to, uh, must hang on to those. Oops. All right, team, are we ready to rock and roll? Stefan, have you been able to do any um, other sort of fitness while you're getting back to everything? Oh, dry needling is amazing. Yay, Diana, let's go. All right, guys, let's do the darn thing. Dry needling is a game changer, Stefan. It really is. When you have someone that knows how to do it well, 
I mean, it can make you levitate a little bit. It doesn't always feel, it's not like a massage, but uh, from an effectiveness standpoint. Willie, how have you been feeling? Amanda, glad to have you back uh, doing the bodybuilding track too, by the way. Mayhem Bodybuilding is, they have an awesome track there too. All right, team. Well, I will check in throughout this workout. Stefan, glad to have you back. Glad you're feeling back to moving. <laughs> it happens, you know. <laughs> All right, crew. So again, we're going 20 minute EMA, meaning every minute on the minute, or we're doing five sets. A minute one, we're going to go 10 to 15 single dumbbell thrusters. You can also sub air squats here. Minute two, we're going to go two to five wall walks. Minute three, we're going to go same amount of thrusters on the left side. We like that single dumbbell work. And then at minute four, we're going burpee. Rock and roll, crew. <laughs> Amanda, oh my gosh. We have to fix that. I mean, we've missed your recipes. <laughs> Just regular shoulder soreness. That's good, Willie. We all have to stay in check, right? <laughs> all right, Diana, are we ready? Uh, you guys, tomorrow, do you want to go uh, morning or afternoon? A little bear just, you know, chit-chatting. Okay, but, ooh, yes, Diana. Oh, I love this. She's giving us the scout report for the body weight. I was I was very interested to see how that, uh, Diana, let me know what reps you choose for that. All right, crew, here we go. Diana, thumbs up. We ready? All right, guys, so Diana's starting with air squats or we're starting with single dumbbell thrusters. All right, I will give us a 10 second countdown. Six or four, okay. I've actually been up quite early, Willie. Everyone's on that same schedule. I dig it. Okay, we can vote when we're done. <laughs> All right, team. Long warm-up and catch-up session, but I missed you guys terribly, so it, it had to happen. All right, Diana, 10 seconds. I will be checking in on you guys. Diana. <laughs> and Diana, like I said, keep us posted on what um, rep schemes you choose since she is scouting the body weight for us. All right, Diana, 10 seconds. Starting with our single dumbbell thrusters, guys, or air squats. Two, one. Starting with our 10 to 15 single dumbbell air squat. <laughs> single dumbbell thrusters or 20 air squats. Good job, guys. And 15. Tiny, you can pick more or less, too, on the um, air squats. Like I said, keep me posted. All right, 10 seconds. Next up, we have two to five or 10 if you're Thomas Wall walks in. Five, three, two, one. 
Great job, guys. Now we are going to thrusters on the left or step back lunges. Diana, five seconds. Three, two, one. I did 15 on the right, so I'm going to go 15 on the left. seconds. Fifteen. Sit, Diana. Remember, guys, I want you to think about accelerating through that movement if you're doing the thrusters. Okay, Diana said 20 for the air squats in that first minute. We have eight seconds on to burpees or burpee pull-ups, guys. Going in... Now, <laughs> you got it, Jay. Nice job, Jay. Nice job, guys. 15 seconds. Probably stupid fives almost. Five seconds. Here we go, Diana. Back to those air squats or thrusters. And go. Set number two underway, guys. And 15. Remember, guys, you can remember you can maintain it. It's going to get challenging as we go. No rest minute. So 15 seconds here. Back to our wall walks or flank walks. In five, three, two, one. Let's go, Diana. Nice job, guys. I'm up in for three wall walk. I know thrusters are going to add up. We got it. Five seconds. We're in set number two. Moving on to thrusters or lunges. And go. Here you go, Diana. Nice job, guys.
Nice job, gang. Ooh, the pressing. It's meant to compound. Wall locks, burpees. We got it, team. Five seconds. Burpee pull ups. Here we go, Diana. Three, two, one. Or you can do body weight burpees. Five to 12. 10 seconds, guys. Starting our third round. We're in the hump round, team. Nicely done, Diana. Going in three, two, one. Back to body weight air squats or thrusters on the right. It's our halfway through round, guys. Next up, wall walks. We got it, Diane. Come on, crew. 10 seconds. Three, five, wall walk. Three, plank walk, team. In We're almost over the hump. Just got to get through this round. Let's go, crew. 10 seconds. Back to step back lunges if you're doing body weight. Thrusters on the left. In three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go, crew. Come on, Diane. Fifteen. That's it. Fifteen seconds. Here you go, Diana. Burpee or burpee pulping. Ten. Nice job, guys. Going in five, Not much of a three, two, one. Hey, big fighter. Hey. What you doing? Going to reload pills. All right. You've got two more rounds. Okay. There, who's that? Nice job, team. Sit down in the 
Ten seconds, starting round four. Back to our air squats and thrusters in three, two, one. Here we go, gang. Great job, guys. Fifteen. Let's go, team. Let's go, Diana. Next up, wall walks. Twenty seconds. Second to last round. Thanks, Erica. We got it, crew. Let's go, Diana. Ten seconds. Wall walks. Almost there. In five, three, two, And three. Finish line's getting closer now, guys. Body weight is going to be step back lunges. Next up, thrusters on the left. Five seconds. Come on, Dan. Almost on fourth. Three, two, one. Thanks for coming along for the ride. We got it. the speed out of the bottom of that squat, guys. Second last round, team. One more round after this. Finish up these burpees next or burpee pull-ups. Here we go, Diana. We got it. Five seconds. Almost there, guys. That's it, team. Here we go, Diana. Last four minutes. Last set of everything. You guys got it. Thanks, Erica. Nice work, guys. Let's go, Diana. Last set in three, two, one. Back to those air squats or thrusters on the right. Come on, team. Let's finish strong. That's it, guys. Don't slow down. You got it. Come on. Last little wall walks here, Diana. 
15 seconds. No looks of play blocks, guys. Here we go. 10. Starting in 5, 3, 2, 1. Last set of wall walks. Last set of thrusters or lunges. I know we can celebrate that. 10 seconds, guys. Last set of lunges or thrusters on the left in three, two, one. Here we go, Diana. Speed out the bottom, guys. Come on. Use that momentum. Nice, guys. Last set of thrusters or lunges done. Finish the workout strong. Last set of burpees or burpee pull-ups in 10. Here we go, gang. In five, three, two, one. Finish it up. Come on. 15. Nicely done. 15 seconds. Here we go. Great job, guys. Crushed it. High five, Steve. We did it. Diana, amazing job. Crew, amazing job. Thanks, Erica. That was a good one. So really no time to think on that one, guys. And you can make it as challenging as you want reps-wise. So I always suggest on those EMONs 10 to 15 seconds rest so you can keep up your intensity. But uh, this is a lot of uh, pushing a lot of upper body uh, and lower body. Diana, what reps did you pick for the body weight? Diana was our scout today for body weight. Great job, team. Diana, amazing job. <laughs> that was a brutal one. In a good way, of course. <laughs> but 20 minutes and you're done. Thank you for jumping in and doing it. Oh, my gosh. So, again, for body weight, we had air squats, wall walks or plank walks, lunges, and burpees. And for minimal equipment, we had single thruster, dumbbell thrusters on the right, wall walk, single dumbbell thrusters on the left, and burpee pull-ups. Nice job, gang. Oh, you guys saw Big Fighter walk in. Are you leaving? Yep. Can you wait five minutes so I can say bye real quick? Two minutes. Okay. All right, team. I love you guys. I will message our chat and uh, see what time we're going to go tomorrow. But we will be back for sure. More fitness tomorrow and the rest of this week. You guys are awesome, Diana. Thank you so much for doing that. Erica, Willie, Amanda, crew for hanging out today. You guys are the best.
Shane came by too. We had Stefan here, Thomas. We had like the whole gang. Aria, still working on it. We'll still keep praying for you, Aria. All right, team. You guys are awesome. Willie, let me know how it goes. Diana did 20 for the Air Squats crew. So I'll keep you posted for tomorrow. You guys are amazing. Diana, thank you for doing that work out with. Can't wait to catch up and do more tomorrow. <laughs> you guys are the best. I hope you have an awesome day.